All right, let's talk about rounding numbers because there's a few special things that we need to know about when we're trying to convert our numbers into string and you know, rounding and how everything can be affected there. We're covering F614 in this video. So the penny off error is an error that can come up when you're doing uh, financial calculations regarding money, or you know you can have similar versions of this error, this error outside of money, but it happens a lot when you're working with money. The issue is uh, when you round currency values, if you round them at just the wrong time, you can have these off by one kind of results where the, uh, in this case, we have a subtotal and then a discount applied to that subtotal. Uh, you subtract the discount from the subtotal and you get the total due, but the total due is off by one penny. I'm not going to do the full subtraction out of it. You can check it yourself if you don't believe me. But what I do know is that 10 minus 8 is 2. So the last digit of the total due should be 2 and not 3. So something has gone wrong with the rounding in this case. So now in this problem, we calculated the subtotal. Uh, you know, we have tickets right here. Each ticket is 62.5, 62.50. Um, the user is trying to buy seven of them, seven times 62.50. That's how you get the subtotal, 43.437.5. Uh, when we display that in two string with C2, we get 437.50. Now the discount is 5% uh, off when you buy this many. So 437.5 times 0 0.05 is going to be 21.875, which is not a valid number of cents because our cents are only to the hundredths, not the thousandths. So 21.875, but no worries when we call two string, that's going to become 21.8. However, when we subtract the discount, and this is behind the scenes, by the way, we're not subtracting 21.88 from 437.50. No, we're subtracting 21.875 from 437.5. The result being 415.625. So we have this extra five thousandths at the end of both the discount and the total due. When we convert them to the two string method, both round up and then we get the arithmetic error where 10 minus eight is apparently now three according to this uh, bad calculation. And that's a problem. We would want this extra five to go back up into the um, discount or something like that. We would want to try to prevent that. But if we try to do some kind of if statement in all of our calculations like this to detect if there was extra, you know, extra little chunks at the end of all of our numbers and then try to account for all that in every single possible case, well, that would be really rough. So we just, you know, we have our method of rounding using two string, but there's got to be a better way, right? Well, what we could do is we could round 21.875 up by converting it to a string using two string and then using try parse to get it back in, right? And that would fix the problem. Then we'd have uh, the correct subtraction, 437.5 minus 21.88. But that's awful. Awful. And we don't want to do that. So there is a better way, luckily. We have the math.round uh, method. It's the round method of the math uh, class. So math with a capital M, A-T-H, uh, dot round. You pass in a value. Uh, and you can also pass in the number of digits that you want to round to if you want to. Um, you don't have to. So for example, the third example I gave here, if you just pass in 8.99, it will round it up to 9. It will assume that you want to round it up to the nearest whole number. However, you can specify two digits, which is great for currency, 3.24. Uh, Math.round, you can pass in one digit. Uh, so one digit for 6.517 would be 6.5. If it was uh, 6.58, it would become 6.6. Uh, 6. 
You can also uh, give more digits than actually exist in the input. So math.round 4 plus 5 rounded to two, dig two digits would be the number 9. So now all you would have to do in order to fix this issue right here is you could round the discount to two digits ahead of time. So math.round 437.5 times 0 0.05 comma 2. And that would give you 21.88. You set that equal to your discount variable. You can also do the same thing for the subtotal just to be safe, although it's not really necessary, come to think of it, because um, you have a two decimal place at most number and also an integer involved in this multiplication, so you don't even need to worry about rounding up to two decimal points. That'll be fine. And then the total due you also won't have to worry about because you have an at most two decimal point number for the subtotal minus an at most two decimal point number for the discount, which then will be at most two decimal points for the total due. So that's how you can fix the issue using math.round. All right, that is the very quick aside on rounding. Now let's get back into uh, procedures.